Good morning. This is such a beautiful day out here. What's up, YouTube? How are you doing today? This is Casey here at Loaded Up Dumps and Rentals and Jump Removal. So today we went on another bid today, and of course I'm going to take you guys along with, on the journey with me, and uh, kind of take a look at the different jobs that we get and uh, how we bid them. And of course, you know, at the end of this video, do me a favor, you know, leave a comment, tell me what you think that you would charge to do this job. You know, just kind of give me ideas and stuff like that. And of course, like, subscribe, comment, and uh, hit that notification bell to uh, let you know whenever we post another video. So yesterday we did a, a, a very small junk removal. And uh, this is actually the remnants of it right here. And uh, I actually had a few, few good uh, items in there that uh, could be on resale so those are going to my mom for her business on eBay but uh but yeah so literally there's only a couple things that are missing out of there that we got in the house but uh this job it only took 30 minutes believe it or not and made pretty good uh pretty good money on it so the business out there the money's out there I was a little bit scared whenever you know going into this full time I was a little skeptical because, you know, being in the business full time, you just never know. But we're, 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 we're constantly posting, we're constantly um, uh, sending out ads and stuff like that. And uh, we're actually on Home Advisor, which has been very, very helpful. Um, so, yeah, so come along on this journey with us and uh, we'll All see right, you YouTube. There. So, we're here, we're at the job site. So, I'm going to give you guys a little insight on what we, what we're going to, you just tell us what you think. In the comments, like I said, tell us what you think we sh this this job will go for. So, all right. So let's uh, let's uh, let's get started. All right. So I got my brother here. I'm gonna say hey. How you how you feeling? Good. good feeling good. good. All right. So yeah, I know. All right. So whatever is construction debris is not going. Okay. Because the contractor is going to be responsible for that. The appliances are going. This room here. Except for the construction debris, it's gonna be completely cleaned out. So whatever is not supposed to be in here, it's going. I put it to you like that. All right. And then I'm assuming we got some appliances in here. That looks like a, a table for a. I'm not sure, or that entertainment center. And I think, I don't know what's in these bags. Now that's garbage, so I think these bags are going. <coughs> and, uh, and then here, this is not going. This is construction debris for the general contractor. But I think this stuff here along the fence is going. And then that room back there, that room is completely cleaned out. Can't get in there because the contractor's not here and the gate's locked. And I am not climbing over this fence. I ain't young and spry like I used to be. <laughs> so, I'm not sure what's going to be in there. We'll take a look. Right. So, looks like a bunch of stuff on the side there. Looks like a bunch of appliances or old appliances. Probably that weight bench, I'm not sure, but I have to check with the owner. But yeah. Uh, so that looks like a little, yeah, like I said, about 300 square foot little room. Uh, so, tell me what you, would th what you think. Alright, so we just left the job site and um, I was actually able to get across the fence and I completely forgot to record that for you guys but um, there is a quite a quite a bit of stuff that's that's in there um, that you really couldn't see from the outside uh, the garage is about 300 square foot and um, it's got a lot of uh, there's some shelves in there and then there's also some things that are up in the rafters and uh, looks like a lot of tools, uh, not tools, but like two box, um, and just you know, looks like a lot of stuff that, that uh, they've collected you know, over time. Um, I did see some trophies in there, and I'm a little partial to that because 
um, at one time I had actually uh, misplaced my trophies and a friend of mine Jamie and uh, and Billy they they uh, they found them at a yard sale so I was able to get my trophies back so I'm kind of partial to those because I know whenever you win trophies it's uh, it's hard to lose those so you know I, I uh, I'd hate to take those and throw those out and I read one of them it was for a car show so I always thought that was pretty good since you know I'm a car guy myself and uh, and yeah so but yeah so I, I think that I think I have a, a quote that I'm gonna you know send to the homeowner and based on what I was a actually able to see and what I was able to look at once I got inside of it um, I don't recommend if you're over 40 climbing a fence, especially with them little birds on the top of it because I got one stuck right in the inside of my leg and uh, Let's just say that it's uh, quite painful and I'm not limber like I used to be you know I used to be able you know climb a fence jump it. No mm -mm, Not anymore <laughs> So but anyway, uh, I appreciate you guys coming along on this journey with us and I uh, as I've always said, every bit of input that you guys can offer us is greatly appreciated. Back at the house from that uh, bid, you know, bidding that job, and uh, I think we got it. So, kind of wanted to show you guys a little bit. This is from a junk removal, not a dumpster owner, but this is from the junk removal uh, yesterday, actually. And not a lot of, not like I say, it was a very small job. Um, and I think that this actually might be good. The drawers are, the bottom one doesn't have handles. Oh no, a couple of drawers don't have handles, but. Um, and this, uh, I thought was in fairly good shape, but it's actually on the other side, it's kind of all eat, been eaten up. Uh, it's falling apart, so, but. That would have been a pretty nice computer computer sta uh, table. This one here I thought was a heater. And so took the filters out, cleaned them, everything. Come to find out it's a it's a uh, dehumidifier, I think. Or L filtration. It, it filters the air, basically. So not in need of that. So, of course, we cut the cord off of that so we can save it for scrap metal. Still haven't decided what I want to do with this. Um, I'm afraid to touch it. <laughs> but uh, she said it was never used. So let's uh, see. If we can... Yeah, I don't know about all that. Yeah, I'm not touching that. So I might just go ahead and just go on in the, into the big truck in the background. Yeah. So. But anyway, yeah, so that's uh, that's about it. We did get a few couple uh, a couple of good items out here. I uh, got a nice little mixer, and uh, the books that we got were nursing books. Uh, yeah, some some nursing books that we got out of there. So not too bad, not too sad before today. Not too sad before today. So anyway, so thanks a lot for coming along with us. Uh, this uh, did not turn out too bad after all. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for your input and uh, um, and your advice and and just coming along with us on this journey because uh, it, this has been interesting. Um, again, we are still learning. We're not pros at it yet. We're getting there. Uh, the jobs are coming in. We've got a we had a bid for tomorrow for another job in Jacksonville, and then planning to hopefully you know get started on the job that we've been today on Thursday then we got another drunk removal job we got scheduled for Saturday so uh, if you if you want to get into this business and you're scared I'm gonna encourage you to go full force ahead of time um, don't wait do it it's a perfect time now to get into it because this is kind of the slow season because the weather's cool uh, weather's cold it's it's cold out here today um, so I encourage you to do it uh, thanks for watching like subscribe comment and uh, we'll catch you later